This is uh, SID 0 0.4. This update has a lot of the stuff that you guys have been asking for. The main one was being able to separate the contents of the script by monitor. Get the simple inventory display. Right, and now we have the contents of everything on the computer. Let's actually fill it up first. All right, so we have stuff. Uh, you guys said this is a little too crowded. So let's put this on separate displays. Here, so we're gonna call this display H2O LCD. For example, we're gonna call this one the assembler LCD. I'm giving them word names, it doesn't really matter. Um, this one we're gonna call refinery LCD. This one we're gonna call hydrogen LCD. And then we're gonna go back to the computer. We don't have to, but I'd like to. Go into the custom data and start configuring the displays. So you add the same display command as always. And then after that you put, what do we have? We have the H2O LCD. And for that, we're gonna say, so you have uh, a number of things you can break out of the screen. You have ore, you have ingots, you have ice, components, items, ammo, tools, and status. If you wanna have the whole screen minus something, then you can say no ore, no ingots, no status, and so on. Uh, so for the H2 LCD, we're gonna say ice. For the assembler LCD, we're gonna say components. For the refinery LCD, we're gonna say um, ore and ingots. For the hydrogen LCD, we're gonna say well, ice again, I suppose. I didn't really think this through, I guess. Uh, we can remove this. That's going to be enough. So, what do we have? What did we call this? And what did I say on the computer? I said ass. All right, so you have ice, which is a separate display. You have uh, components, you have ore and ingots. You could break out pretty much anything. You could say, like for example, you might want only ammo. Ow. Right, so now you have only the ammo. Or, for example, you want everything. Let's put up a big display so that we can see everything. And we're going to call this, obviously, big LCD. And let's just get rid of all of this. You get it? Uh, the script can drive like realistically about 25 displays depending on how much stuff you show on them it could go a little bit higher so what was it big lcd uh we're gonna say let's see what it looks like right now right now it has everything on it let's say i don't like the status bar so i'm gonna go and say no status And now you have the same thing, but without the status bar. And a lot of people don't like to see tools. No tools. There you go. 
Another place this is useful is on small grids. So I have this old ship. This is a survival ship that I've made. It's a really cheap miner that helps me get off the ground really fast. And I have not really updated it at all. So let's put a computer on here somewhere. And we're, we're gonna browse for Sid. Check code. Okay. And we're gonna configure cockpit uh, zero, because I want it in the middle. All right, so now we have the whole uh, inventory. We, we do not want the whole inventory, so we're gonna go to computer, custom data, and because this is a miner, all I want is the ore. Right, which is very useful. Uh, another thing that I added was long names. So in addition to all of that, you could say full names. And now instead of the shortened names, you get the full names of all the items. Uh, here, this might be even prettier uh, in case you want to see full words. Full names. There we go. In my opinion, this is way too many letters that mean nothing. Uh, but some people like to see full words. Here I had to make a few compromises, like I did not write interior plates completely. I am not going to write superconductors all the way because it sticks out way too far and it just wastes a lot of space. But in general, you know, you could consider these full names. Another thing that I think was a lot of fun. Remember those four button icons that were on the old button panel with the one, two, three, and four squares? Mm, they've kind of lost meaning, but I think I found a way to use them again because I think they fit here perfectly. Uh, if you look at the way they're specified here, you have a thing and then you have a thing with one chevron, with two chevrons, and three chevrons. And that's kind of what I have here. This was just a way to not repeat the words because, again, that would be a little silly. Uh, but it works really well, I think, for short names. Because now it's not, you know, W1, 2, 3, and 4. Now from even far away, you can see the sort of stair step that, that you get. And essentially, it's the same thing as you get in the menu. So I think this is the perfect use for those uh, characters. Uh, I think they were just waiting for this script to come along uh, ever since they lost use in the button panel. The last thing for this update is the ability to show uh, fill percentage as a bar. So you can see that you're taking a certain amount of nickel, a certain amount of stone. Uh, but another thing that's useful is you can now go into the settings and say bars. And what this will do is this will add uh, fill bars on your values, which will show, they're like little progress bars, which will show you how full your inventory is. Uh, and then they will turn red as it gets full. Sorry, I think we got enough nickel. Let's keep going and get some other stuff. Uh, so it looks like we're full. The bars, in my opinion, at this point should turn red. They haven't because I haven't coded it correctly. Uh, they're really, really raw. I added them essentially just today. Uh, and there's still a lot of obviously bug fixing, but also just conceptual working through how they should work, how big they should be, what they should show you and stuff like that. So let's say we want to get rid of the stone. Uh, we have an ejector. I'm going to turn the ejector on. And so we start dumping stone. And now you can see that the stone is disappearing. And you 
can mine some more useful stuff. So I think this could be a pretty useful addition to any miner. That's it for this update. Thanks for watching.